Looking to take your Madden game to the next level while dominating kids in Weekend League? And learn high level schemes from some of the best Madden pros in the world? Make sure you check out Hot Route Tips and use code CHAOS for 10% off at checkout. What's up everybody, Chaos here, and yes, today I'm bringing you guys a championship level Madden tip, so I'm wearing my championship Madden shirt. Now, but in all seriousness, man, you guys know I have so much planned for you guys this year, and you guys have been killing it for me. You guys have been incredible. You guys have been knocking every like goal out the park, man. So today, we're going to give you guys another one. We're going to bump it up to 500 likes. If we get 500 likes in this video, I'll drop you guys my favorite route in Madden 20. I found it a couple days ago. It's easily been my favorite route since. I've been using it a ton. So if we get 500 likes in this video, I'll drop you guys that video. Are you kidding me, guy? Very quickly, I do want to make one small announcement. If you guys don't know already, I'm a part of HotRoute.Tips, which you can see in the link in the description below. Make sure you guys check that out. We just dropped our first ebook on there. If you guys don't know him, it's KMAX Defense. KMAX is the number one player in Mutt right now on Xbox. At one point, he was like 110 and 1. He had an unbelievable record, guys, and he's been killing it. If you guys want his defense, you guys want to get better at the game, make sure you guys check that out. We just started our monthly membership at $14.99 and still have our yearly sale for going on for a few more days at $99.99. So if you are interested in either of those, make sure you guys check out HotRod.Tips in the description and let's get into this video. I do want to implore you guys though, make sure you guys stay to the end of the video. I don't think it's too long of a video, but if it does get a little long-winded to you, skip to the end, look at the part about shotgun because no matter what you run on defense, that shotgun part will help you but I think the entire video will be educational for you and it will help you guys on your run defense but at least make sure you check out that shotgun part. Okay guys, today we're going to be talking about run defense. Now I've seen a lot of people complaining about the run on Twitter, a lot of which has to do with the arm bar. That I can't help you with. If you're going to get stiff arm, you're going to get stiff arm. It is what it is. Can't help you with that today but I can help you with legitimate run defense and helping you guys stop the run in general. So it's going to start with the pass but I'm going to show you guys here what my kind of concept is for stopping the run. Everyone remembers last year I used to man up my safeties and they would just start pursuing the running back as soon as the play started. They nerfed that, it doesn't work anymore, but there is something similar that you can do, but the concept comes from stopping the pass. Now, keep in mind, I will cut a few times throughout this video just to go to each section to show you guys the different things on how to stop the run. I'm not gonna be giving you guys like the glitchiest gap shoot ever. I'm not gonna show you guys how to shoot the gap on every single run ever. I'm gonna be giving you guys the tools to take whatever defense you're in, no matter what you're in, this concept will work and be able to stop the run out of it. So everyone knows when a quarterback is in the pocket or whatever, they're passing the ball, they roll out, you wanna send your guy at them, your closest zone or a spy, you click the right stick, right? So I'm gonna show you that here on this pass play. So my hook girl goes out, I click my right stick, he goes at him. Now don't worry about the pass, it doesn't matter. I'm gonna go into the replay section here. Just got dotted by the by the CPU. Alright, so the hook curl. He goes into his zone or wherever he's playing his spot. I click the right stick and I send him. He starts pursuing the quarterback. That's the concept that we're gonna use to stop the run. So I'm gonna jump into ace close here. I'm gonna show you guys a uh, certain thing that you can do to stop each run and just do a different do different things out of different coverages and show the different ways that it works. So let's jump into that. Okay, so for now, I'm in cover for a drop, and the computer is in ace close stretch. So you guys are going to see here, I'm going to show you guys the run fit. The way you do that is hold left trigger, then hold right trigger, and you can do X or B. If the run's going to the right, it's going to be B. If the run's going to the left, it's going to be X. Right? Okay, so I'm going to baseline press here. I'm actually going to move this guy in a, like a step or two, right? And I'm not going to click the right stick. I'm not going to do anything here. I'm just going to let them run stretch right, and you're going to see they're going to probably have some success. I'm not going to use their tackle or anything. Just hang him back. Guy gets picked up, and they got a big game, right? Maybe I click on to make that tackle. Maybe I'm trying to use or I get blocked. Who knows what happens, right? Doesn't really matter. Now I'm going to show you guys. I'm going to move him in a couple steps again. And now this time I'm going to click the right stick, and he's going to come right at the running back. You guys saw the guy did block shed, but you guys see the crazy good angle that Gilmore got here. I clicked the right stick as soon as they hiked it. You see he took one step back and I was clicking it. Bam, he goes. He goes right at him. And even if this guy's not here, Blockchain, I think that's Vinoy. Even if he's not there, you have a one-on-one. -on -one. Now, I can't tell you're not going to get stiff arm right there, but you have a chance to make the tackle. All right, so let's do it one more time here. Move him in like a step. Obviously, if, you, if you're afraid to stretch to the other side, you can always move him a step here as well. Now, I'm not going to even use her on this play, and I'm going to have this guy make the tackle. Send him again. He pursues very hard. Now the difference is, eventually they will go if you don't send this, so I'll show it again one time without clicking it. So they do take this first step back no matter what, bam. Now if you click the right stick, they're gonna super pursue. You see him sprint right at him to make the play. 
Whereas he would kind of hover right here, contain, contain, maybe the block gets out and gets to him. So let's show it one more time here. So essentially what you're doing, by the way, is you're running this when you don't know they're going to be running stretch. So if you think they're going to be running a dive, you want these like a dive or like a straight up the middle run, whatever, a lead, if they're an I form, whatever. You want these guys in the run fit uh, for like the middle purposes. So you want this, you want Chung and you want McCord to be able to make plays in the middle while also having this edge. So cover two is gonna take these guys out of the run fit and it's gonna put the edge guys in the run fit. So essentially what you're doing right now by get, being able to click this right stick is get this outside guy in a cover two run fit where he's playing the stretch while also having these guys in the run fit in case they run the ball up the middle. Now I'm not gonna click it again here and I would expect them to get a decent gain. You see the tight end gets out there. He actually misses the block, but you guys can see this guy is not really pursuing hard down at the football. I'll show you guys one more time with the click stick, but watch this here. If he makes a good block and actually <laughs> just actually hits this guy, he's probably off to the races. Now, he completely does nothing. I don't even know what he's doing. But you can see this guy's not really pursuing. Instead of taking one step backwards and coming right at him, he's taking three, four, five, and he just kind of hovers there. Eventually, he runs at him. But this just kind of gives you guys a three, like a three-step, three-second head start. Okay, guys, sorry about that. I had to cut. All I was saying was basically is this gives you this click uh, tactic here gives you about a three to four second head start of the guy running straight at a pursuit angle right at the guy instead of taking four steps back hovering waiting then seeing and going he takes just a straight angle down at the pursuit angle and it's nine on nine when you have the the run fits versus the, the potential blockers right because the quarterback and the, and the running back aren't going to block and then you have two people that aren't in the run fit so if you look at the run fit here, the two outside corners are not in run fit. So by clicking the right stick, it puts this guy in the run fit and then it's 10 on nine. Now I'm gonna run this one more time and let him run the stretch and you guys are gonna see, he's gonna probably blow it up by himself. Click the down, he goes straight at him. Now he ends up getting taken out right there, but it makes him spin back and he makes the play. Just this little, this little like two step head start, three step head start that he gets can really make all the difference when stopping the run. So you see he comes straight down at it. Instead of waiting, if he just waits right here, waits, 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 one of these guys is probably gonna get to the second level. Probably the guy who ends up touching him up a little bit right here anyways, he probably gets to the second level and hits him out here and lets Zeke go, right? So now I'm gonna cut one more time. We're gonna jump into a cover two and I'm gonna show you something else you can do. Okay, so now I'm in cover two and the computer's in like a zone week. They didn't have a dive or anything, but it's close enough to a middle run that it'll work. I'm in cover two, so now the run fits are gonna be from the outside corners. It's not gonna be from the safeties no matter what, right? So to get the safety in the run fit, I move them like to the middle, like right here. I move them here so I know which one I'm sending. If you don't know, if you don't move one in, you're not gonna know which one's closest. You're not gonna know exactly how they're gonna play the run. So I put one in the middle right there just so we can make sure I know he's gonna be the one to go when I click the right stick. Some of the time he will shoot the gap, not all the time, but either way he's going to make him take up a blocker. And right there, that's literally the perfect clip for you. It did exactly what I wanted him to do. So let's watch him compared to the other safety on this play. It's literally perfect. Right here, I click the right stick, bam, he starts pursuing. Meanwhile, Patrick Chung, the other safety, which I can't send, is just backing straight up towards the end zone. Now imagine this safety is not here and he's just across from Patrick Chung. This could be a monster game. This is probably a hundred yard game. Now maybe, maybe they make a cut left, right? Maybe they, maybe you say, ah, oh, this guy just, the computer just had really bad vision. They could have cut left. Yeah, maybe. I don't know if this linebacker can make this play. I don't know if my user can circle around and make the play. I'm not really paying attention to my user's run defense during this time anyways. But I want you guys to see that this straight angle will just really cause them. It looks like they have two wide open holes. Instead, they end up just taking the wrong one and making a tackle. So I just wanted you to see the potential of it. Now, if I get involved with my user, that's when it really gets better, to be honest, because they're going to probably shoot straight down on a middle run. And if I user around, they're going to have some trouble finding gaps to, to run through. So click the stick and we're able to make a tackle. Now, the computer doesn't have the best stick. Maybe they break a run there, whatever. The point I'm trying to make to you guys is you want this 10 on nine. If you get this 10 on nine because the quarterback and the running back can't block, you get an advantage because before it's nine on nine, if everyone gets blocked, you could be gone. But now if you get an extra guy outside the run fit, you're gonna be in good shape. Send this guy here. And that's another perfect one. We're gonna end on that one. I wanna show you guys in the replay though. I don't need to show it anymore. I think you guys get the gist. But 
Watch this guy take up a blocker so this linebacker can be free. Normally this linebacker would be blocked, but watch. So the guard comes up, right? The right guard. And he ends up cracking the safety instead of the linebacker. But if the safety is not there, if he's back with Chung, this linebacker is probably either I'm getting blocked or this linebacker is getting blocked. And we get a guy in there instead of having no one free and having tons of space. So I'm not giving you guys perfect run defense. You guys can rock with 3-4 odd. It's cool. I like cover 4 a lot from it. I use that. If you guys are getting hit with stretch a lot, you can run cover two and put the safety in there. You guys can do a lot of different things from it. But what I'm trying to tell you guys is use this in whatever defense you want. Let it help your run defense on any play literally in the game. If they just hike the ball, you can click the right stick and give yourself a little bit better of a chance of stopping the run. I'm not going to say it's going to blow it up for 10 minus 10 yards, but it'll go make the tackle for you just because you have an extra guy there. Like, look at this play right here. I just did it and I just was just hiking the ball. Watch him, I click the right stick and he just comes in and, and makes a tackle for me. Okay guys, sorry about that, I almost ended the video prematurely. I do wanna show you guys the shotgun. I think it's probably the most viable part of this of this strategy here because you kinda of know where the run's going. So if the running back's on the right, they're probably gonna be running an inside zone or base most of the time. There is 0-1 traps and like counters, but for the most part it's gonna be like draw, which goes straight up the middle, or inside zone or base, which goes to the left. So I usually will put them in the middle deep blue safety on the opposite side, if I'm in cover three of course, and if, it was, if the formation was flipped, I'd put them over here. So if you look at the cover three run fits, uh, the middle deep blue is not in the run fit no matter what. So I have to be clicked. So you can put them here and you can kind of create yourself like a double gap shoot. Like you're trying to shoot the gap and then you can shoot the gap. He can shoot the gap himself, right? So we'll let him hike here and we'll try to shoot the gap. And I actually messed up my click. So I'll show you guys one more time. My bad about that. I didn't click as I was shooting the gap. But I want you guys to see kind of we both can try to make a play. Now, some, one of us will probably get blocked. We'll probably not both get through. But it kind of just creates double the havoc for the offensive line and the wide receivers trying to block. And now you see the wide receiver blocked him, but he did make him get blocked. And then if you see if I get blocked, that guy will probably come through. So I'm going to show you guys now without me trying to shoot the gap. So I'm able to shoot the gap, right? But you see this safety just comes straight down. He does get chipped right here. Uh, but if Zeke hadn't cut back, he probably would have kept pursuing this little hole right here and try to fill that. But now I'm going to make sure I get blocked by the wide receiver and try to let the safety make the play. So I pull him all the way down here again. I pull myself over here. Let him hike it. Send him down. And you see the, the backside guy came, but I want you guys to see the safety because the safety makes this play regardless of if Vinoy makes the backside tackle or not. So he took one step back and then he starts pursuing, right? And these guys both hit me. So we're simulating the fact like maybe I missed the gap or I wasn't ready for the hike, something along those lines. So I click the safety. If Vinoy doesn't make this backside play, this safety's coming right in. So that's where it's really helpful. I'll show it one more time here without me involved. Just let the safety do it all. But just this just helps your, your run defense really. It just doubles your kind of gap shooting power and helps the pursuit. So right there, he picks up a block. That's literally perfect. So the middle linebacker gets to come in free. Let me show you it one more time. We'll probably do one more after this, but. So I sent this guy right away, right? And he picks up a block. This guy goes free, right? Now, if this safety's not here, if he's backing up towards the, towards the, the end zone, the center probably just goes and gets this middle linebacker and doesn't let him make this play. It's, it leaves for a free guy to make a play. So I'll do it one more time, and then I'll show you guys it without clicking and just show you what the safety would normally do and why he would be such bad run defense for him. So we're good right here. Send the guy in. And he actually just misses the tackle, but you guys really get it. And again, the guy shoots right through. Um, just show it quickly on the replay, and then we'll show one quick run without him being clicked. So you see the click, he takes one step back and he goes, bam. And he misses making the play. I probably should click on sooner, but I wanted you guys to see it. So just baseline here. And I'm not gonna bring it up, I'm not gonna click, and you guys will see him just back up towards the end zone. And you guys see, I didn't click anything. He doesn't really ever even try to make a play until, until Zeke gets the second level. You guys see, he just he just starts backing up off rip. He takes about four or five steps backwards. Then he goes, once he's about crossing the line of scrimmage, and it's like 10 yards downfield. So, hope this was, help, this was helpful for you guys. I really think it's super viable in shotgun. I think it'll help you under center. I've been using that. I've been doing a good job against people that are actually typically good runners. Um, 
I think I think that you, if you guys can implement this into any of your schemes, whether it's like dollar, if you're using 335, 335i, whatever it may be, this will work. It'll send whoever's not in the run fit. Every formation has run fit, so you can make this work. So hope this was helpful. Take it easy, guys. Peace.